Hey guys, Scrap It's back here and no matter how clean you think you're going to keep your scrap pile, it just turns into a mess. So it's about time to do a scrapyard run and so that's what we are preparing to do here. It's Friday and tomorrow morning we're going to head to the scrapyard so we're going to get as much of this into there as we can. There's my assistant. Sup fam. Sup fam. Yeah, he's a hipster 15 year old. So we're going to go get this done here and uh, get ready to go to the scrapyard tomorrow. Can't wait. <laughs> well, we got some of it out. By the way, that's a pressure washer I pulled out of a dumpster yesterday. I'm not sure if it works or not. Although, the stuff I've been getting out of that dumpster has been like they're doing a building clean out, just getting rid of crap. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it runs. And it does, the engine does, uh, it does have compression. So I'm going to monkey around with that thing for a while. It's worth trying to figure out. Dock plate hasn't sold yet. Give it another two weeks and it's going to the scrapyard. That The deck is aluminum. I just got to pull the hardware off of it. And that's what we got loaded up. Some regular aluminum batteries, a tub of miscellaneous steel crap from taking stuff apart, a little bit of dirty aluminum, some uh, Cat5 wire, all sorts of fun stuff in here. So, I'm going to guess, I always like to guess, I'm going to guess, uh, I'm going to guess one... 91 is my guess. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, see you guys in the morning. It'll just seem like a second to you. Alright guys, next day we're on our way to the scrapyard here. There's the pile. Sup fam. Hipster again. Alright, so 29 whole degrees out in the middle of March in Minnesota. It's awesome. So we're going to go uh, bring this up to the scrapyard see what we can get. And I think we're going to have just about an hour, hour and a half of free time that we might go do, uh, might go check a few dumpsters on the way home. So stay tuned for that. So I think I got a way where we can film the scrapyard without it being a big deal. So we're going to give that a try. So hopefully you'll see that footage. All right. We're getting close. Let's go dump it. So, we'll see when I get home what that video looked like, how it turned out, but um, I'll show you part of it anyway, I'm sure. So here's what we ended up with. I was a little off on my 191 guess. I guess I forgot how hard it is to pack close to 200 bucks in here without bringing number one wire or something with, but anyway. Got 14 pounds of extruded, uh, 92 pounds of baler, which is their shred steel, plastic transformers, AC adapters. Love the batteries. 40 pounds battery for $12.80. That's awesome. But um, if you're looking at these receipts with me, so down on this side is what the actual weight was. That's the tear weight, so they take off, you know, a certain amount of weight for the tubs. And that's the price per pound. And then, then that's what we get. Um, so then the computer wire, Christmas lights are hardly worth messing around with, but. Um, zinc die casts or some um, lamps that I found, the parts of the lamps, a little bit of dirty brass, some long junky pieces I wanted to get rid of. Um, that's the low grade circuit boards, $3.30, yippee, huh? And then the, the Cat 5 com wire, and then 65 pounds of the drop cords, so I got a total of 143.55, so I was pretty far off. Well, it's early in the year and my estimates are off so all right we got some time let's go uh, check some dumpsters here so yesterday after the scrapyard run I promised you guys a little bit of dumpster diving and well that didn't really work out for some reason my camera didn't record any of it so this is what we ended up getting this was this is a 27 gallon uh, 
tub here and that thing is full of computer, basically computer drop cord type plugs. There's some routing stuff, little ethernet switches. There's a few other things that came with it. And then we got that tub full. That thing was almost all out of one dumpster also. I have the direct TV dumpster that's in that city along with some remotes I'll sell on eBay, stuff like that. But I did get the garage cleaned up and organized. So everything's the way it should be finally. So that's what we got. I'm sorry I didn't have the footage for it, but I wanted to show you what I got. But thanks for coming along on it. And we're going to do another uh, scrapyard run. And I think I, I'm going to try a different way of filming it. But I got, we're going to do another scrapyard run this coming Saturday. So we'll get that out for you too. All right, thanks for watching my videos, and we'll see you soon.